Hey guys, welcome back to Red Bandit Racing. And yes, we have another new car. We got the Traxxas Sledge. This one, we've been eyeballing for almost a year now. And we keep seeing it at the hobby store. It wasn't on my list for my next car. We did get the Revo, but I'm not gonna be running the Revo a whole lot during the summertime because it gets hot here. I mean, when it gets about 110 degrees outside, I'm probably not gonna run the Nitro a whole lot. So we wanted to get something that we can rival the Max with. So here it is. We got the sledge, went ahead and got the green one. So this thing runs on 6S power. It does 70 plus miles per hour. This is the eight scale four wheel drive. Uh, this thing is tough. It's got the aluminum chassis, the 2000 KV motor. This thing is a beast. I think this will rival the max. Uh, it's gonna be fun racing against the E-Revo because their speeds are very similar. They have a little bit different specs when it comes to the motors. The E-Revo has the 2200 KV, where this has a 2000, but I believe this has more low end power. So you can run a 4S LiPo on this. What I am gonna do though, is I am gonna install a fan because we get really hot out here and it's the sun's finally coming out and it's gonna be, today is gonna be about 85 degrees. So the sun's finally coming out, it's finally getting warmer. There's no rain sight. We're gonna be back bashing and racing. I'm also gonna go ahead and bind it to my other remote and we're actually gonna run this thing. We're gonna talk about it for a little bit and then go run it for the first time. So let's go ahead and get this thing on bucks. There you, go. you got your uh, TQI remote, which we won't use. And I think we have about six extra ones now. So we're gonna put that aside. there she is that is a beefy truck guys that is really really beefy I love the green on this and, the, and I love the clipless system on and off that's a nice green I like how they did uh, the clipless system on this it's literally back down that's it and from what I'm told, this thing stays on. This thing does not come off like the other clip systems like you see on the Max and the Rustler where you can get hit pretty hard and the front end wants to pop off. This does not pop off. What comes with it is your hex remover tool, some stickers, your instructions, your warranty card. Make sure you fill that warranty card out. And it does come with this plug. What this does is this allows you to, uh, you can cap off cap off one side that way you can run a 4s lipo on this because this does run 4s or dual 3s uh holds in really nice it does come in with the uh the little holes so you can actually put body clips in so the batteries don't fly out it's got the all metal servo the 2275 uh with adjustable uh servo saver this servo does put out 350 ounces of torque it's got the 6.7 inch sledgehammer tires and these actually have a Traxxas did a new gluing process on this so hopefully the tires don't come off uh, they look pretty glued on much better than I did with the maxes so that should work out great it does have the 16 millimeter uh, big bore GT max shocks where the front shocks are 60 weight and the rears are 50 weight so that should it's actually pretty stiff right now so that's actually really nice this thing does weigh about 13 pounds uh, with the battery, probably about 13 and a half, maybe a little bit less. So this thing is actually pretty heavy. Uh, it does have the torque biasing center drive unit, and that does hold 20 million weight. You got your Traxxas Millennium uh, 6S ESC. We do, like I said, have the cooling fan that we're gonna put on, and it does mount right on top. It gives you a spot where you can mount it right on top, which will be great because we get really hot out here and we're really gonna need that. I do like the mud guards on the back. It helps keep a lot of the, the rocks and debris that come up from hitting the axles. Uh, I love the rear wing and the shock towers are so beefy. The way that they did these, they put a lot of engineering into this. It actually looks like it's part of the wing, but it's not. It's actually just another protective shield on it. A chassis brace that goes down the center and it's got a three piece on the back where it mounts in three different spots. And then on the front, it mounts in one spot right there. 
This thing is beefy. They designed this to take a beating and I'm sure it will. It's got the aluminum chassis. It does have the ridges in here. And what that does is that helps strengthen the metal. Uh, just the design of this, the, the way that they did this, it just looks amazing. It's got the beefy A-arms. It's got the, uh, the inserts. And what these inserts are, this actually adjusts the handling of the car. You can put different inserts in here and it causes the arms to become uh, really stiff and rigid or you can take them out and it makes them more pliable to flex. So they've been using these for a long time in uh, racing cars and racing truggies. Uh, I'm pretty sure Traxxas is going to come out with different color inserts, which will actually make it look pretty cool. If you turn these to blue or you wanted a different color, that would actually look really nice. Okay, I don't know if you can see in here, it does actually have captured hinge pins. See the nut on the back right there? That keeps those from backing out and popping off because I see that happen a lot on the Max. On ours, it's always the upper that uh, start to back out and you got to screw them back in. These are captured, makes them really beefy. So that'll be really nice. All right, you got the big beefy tour rods and the steering rods. They are adjustable. If you look on the front, there is a different adjustments that you can make on this. The axles are different from the front to the rear slightly. The center axles do have the dog bones in there. And if you can see, it does have the ceiling boots on the inside for the front and the rear. That's gonna help to keep out a lot of the dust and debris from getting into the diffs. It does have the GT Max shocks. These are a different length. The front takes 60 weight, the rear takes 50 weight. The front shocks are actually the same shocks that are in the Max. The rears are actually longer. So you can use the fronts in the Max or vice versa, but you can't on the rear because these are much longer. Uh, the motor, the motor, I really like that bracket. We're gonna mount a fan on there. The only thing that we are gonna do before we really bash it, is we're gonna make sure everything's tight, put a little bit of Loctite, make sure there's Loctite on the, uh, the pinion, make sure none of that comes loose. And that's pretty much it. This thing, this thing is heavy, it's beefy looking. It does have one flaw that, uh, that I've seen happen, and the rear dog bones, come on a sec. The rear axles, the rear dog bone axles pop out. And what Traxxas did, they did come out with a fix for it, this inner cup right here, they actually put an O-ring on the inside. I believe it's part number 6820. Don't quote me on that, I will leave it in the description. But what they did is they put an O-ring inside it. So what that does is that takes up some of that gap so that way when it flexes all the way up, it pushes in a little bit and it doesn't let that, it doesn't let that dog bone on the inside pop out because that's what was happening. And a lot of people were using limiting straps on this. You don't need to do that. You can either put that o-ring in there or i've seen you can cut off about three millimeters of fuel line for like your nitro and stick that on the inside and that'll help take some of that gap up you'll just have to do that once in a while depending on where you're you know where you're driving uh those can wear out but i would just order the o-ring so we can just pop them in and go but that's it there's no other flaws that i've heard on these but i'm pretty sure we will find them out when we drive it because uh, we are not going to take it easy on, we don't take it easy on any of our cars. So that's not going to change with this one. What I see this one doing is rivaling the Max and uh, definitely going to be racing the, the new uh, e Revo quite a bit. So that's going to be fun. They both go about the same speed. Uh, the e Revo does have better tires. So these do have the sledgehammer tires and they skate a lot when you start getting up to speed. So. But we do have the Max here, so let's go ahead and check out the size difference. Here's the Max. Axle to axle. So as you can see, this is one, two, maybe three inches longer. Tires are a big difference right there. That's a big difference in tires. How far, as far as how wide it is, we line up the tires on this side right there that's almost a whole tire width difference right there that is really wide and as far as weight goes wow the the the, the sledge is definitely heavier but the max is still pretty heavy this max is still pretty heavy it's just a beefy truck yeah traxxas's goal was to build a truck that wouldn't break i mean they did that with the max but that's what they said that the, the sledge does. And we are definitely gonna test that out. 
Uh, I don't see a too many. I don't see too many of these breaking in videos. These things are really beefy and really tough. This is a, such an awesome truck. I can't wait to see how this thing drives. Uh, but let's go ahead and throw that fan in it. I'm going to go ahead and bind my remote to it. And then we're going to go test drive it and see how this thing handles. Fan on, fan's working. Wire that right there because it's not going to go anywhere with the body on it. Put a little zip tie on it. See how this thing goes. speed really responsive brakes are just like the uh, the rustler it just wants to die See those tires are ballooning. Goes on the curb pretty easy. One way to test. Okay. <laughs> that up really easy. What about the grass? Yeah. Crawl over the curb. Crawl over the curb? Crawl over the curb. Ooh. It's actually pretty nice. It's pretty loud, huh? Yeah. Traxxas is finally making a lot of accessories for these. They make the, uh, they, nail, they now make the, the skid plate on the bottom here. They actually make it it's now. Already it's already. already. They already. They make this in different colors now. So it actually they make a skid plate that actually goes right here, down and up, and it helps to protect the bottom. Uh, I mean, this is meant to get scratched up, so we might as well get some of the dings out of the way. But what we are definitely going to do before we really take this out and bash is we are going to take out. The mount screws, put a little bit of Loctite on it. We're gonna take the spur gear out, put a little Loctite on it. Same thing with the pinion, uh, the set screw. Don't want any of that stuff coming out like it did on the, the E-Revo. Some of that stuff is just not locked in very well. So it's good to put a little bit of Loctite on there. Go through all your screws, make sure everything's nice and tight before you start bashing these because you don't want this thing coming apart for the first time on high speeds and big jumps because you'll just start tearing things up. So, so it's a good idea to just go through them, make sure things good to go. Nothing's loose, everything's tight. And uh, yeah, this thing's gonna be a beast. I can see this thing taking on the max. We are gonna put a willy bar on this because I don't need my fin all torn up because this thing is gonna ride on that fin a lot. The willy bars actually look really nice and you can buy different color wheels for them now. So, uh, we're going to do that. We're also going to put a wheelie bar on the E-Revo. Pretty much anything that has this point speed needs a wheelie bar. Because, uh... And if you control the throttle a little bit, you're fine, but... When you go off jumps, that wheelie bar can also protect the fin on landing sometimes. I'd rather the wheelie bar take the brunt of the hit than the, than the fin. Things 
he's got a lot of get up and go. Yeah, this thing feels really nice. And the steering is really responsive. This is the same servo that we wanted to put in the Max, and we wanted to actually put this servo in the Rustler because it's so strong. It puts out a lot of torque. I mean, it turns pretty well in the grass. And this is all with TSM off. So it's very controllable, which is really nice. I don't, I don't, I don't like that you have to have TSM all the time to control it. This is actually pretty controllable all the time. All right, now we're gonna have Red Leader test it out because he drove his E Revo and these are practically the same size. This definitely has a different feel to it. This one just feels more powerful. Look, what about the brakes? About the same? Yeah. I think just, this probably has better brakes than the E-Revo. Just stops on a dime. Which you gotta be careful flipping forward. It's got a lot of pickup. Yeah. Just right over the curve. <laughs> That's kind of nice. It can go with the curve and we know we're not gonna have any problems uh, hitting jumps and stuff. Mm, we'll spin out. I know the TSM's off right now. And the first crash. All right, so that's the sled, guys. This thing is gonna be a beast. It's gonna be fun to drive. We will take it on its first run. We'll probably take it out with the E Revo just so you can see the two side by side. But we'll take a first full run on our next video. We will be making a complete separate video on the first bash. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a versus video with this and the Max and this and the E Revo, kind of show you the comparison between the two. If you guys are looking to get this car, uh, stay tuned. We're gonna put it through the ringer, kind of see how it does, especially against the Max. And we'll let you know kind of how we feel about it and how we compare it to the other cars. We're not gonna give a full review on it until we've had uh, more time to run it, see what breaks, see what doesn't break, uh, see what handles better, see if it can uh, do better than the Max. The Max does have its flaws, but it's extremely durable. There's only one thing I'm adjusting on this. I'm not gonna adjust the suspension on it, but I did order some green anodized wheel hexes. Uh, I don't know why they sell the different colors and then you buy the green and they're blue. I mean, they sell all the colors. Why not just make them all the same color? You know, why not just color match it? <laughs> but maybe that's just the way for them to make you buy other parts. So we're gonna go and throw those on. I already throw the fan on. That's literally all we're gonna do to this. We don't wanna mess around with it too much because I wanna see how it handles out of the box. So we're not gonna do any big adjustments on that. Uh, so stay tuned and stay tuned for the first bash. See you guys on the next one.